Today's topic, Kevin Samuels. So we did a live stream with him recently and there were some really great moments. A lot of people feel that Kevin Samuels really dislikes women, all right? And that he's, he hates them. So I did some research and I found a clip that I think you guys are gonna enjoy. And yet, hold on, hold on. He is harsh on women. You, are you living an interesting life? I mean, you're 34 working in the warehouse. What are you doing that's interesting? I mean, I like to work out. Okay. I mean, I like to so I like to go out, you know, places and visit places and stuff. Okay, you know, I don't. You doing this interesting? See, I didn't have I didn't have none of that when I was a kid, man. My, the... I didn't go to my uh, proms and nothing like that. And what? And at, and at 34 years old, that's your responsibility to address. It's nobody's mm -hmm. concern but your own. No one cares what you did not have. Mm -hmm. It's your problem. That's it. I didn't have a father. That's my problem. Everybody got something. How tall are you? I'm only five five. Just turned. What kind of shape are you in? Um, I, I'm overweight. Working on well, it right now. Okay, okay. You got two struggles already. You can't be short and fat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two strikes. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I was trying to keep my straight face during the interview. Day. I could not. You already got two struggles. Pick one. Two strikes. <laughs> About how much do you make a year? Um, forty thousand. And how old are you? Almost forty, so you're underemployed too. Yeah. All right, bro. So you so short. Don't have to worry about that. But your weight and your money. With your confidence. Oh. Why would the female of the species want to take your genes and put them into the next generation? Correct. Short. I mean, you're fat, underemployed, and and unambitious. Okay, well, the reason why I'm laughing is not because I want to clown the dude. It's because of the way he says it and how blunt it is. It's true, though. He's not lying about what he's saying. You know, a lot of people put themselves in disadvantaged positions, either because life has already dealt them a bad hand, i.e. like being 5'2 as a man or whatever, and then they don't do anything to, to compensate to help themselves. So, of course, life is going to be cruel to you in some degrees. And when he says it, it's just like, you're so not used to hearing that on open platforms that I could not help myself and I was dying. What I believe he said is not what he thinks of the person. He doesn't know the person. But it's actually what is happening out there. Like when he says, what makes a woman want to take your genes and put it out there? At the end of the day, it's not to see what he thinks, but that's what the dating world is that's the whole purpose of the dating world yeah but you know you don't know if that person is nice or whatever i understand that i get that but all the people that's me i'm, I'm attracted by the smart smart is not something that you see from afar you have to sit down to have a conversation and what attracted you to sit down was the looks of was what they saw and that's not something that's necessarily going to be appealing to a certain degree. Ladies, you guys are like employers that are really sought after. All right. Men are the employees. Now, if man doesn't have the criteria or the credentials, the college level education, you're not even going to give him an interview. There's a lot of people who are fit for jobs, but don't have the paperwork behind yeah. it. But you're never going to know. So yeah. are you saying they're like, no, we want the most competent people. Well, based off the criteria that you have, a lot of those people are going to get filtered up. So. Yeah. That's what it comes down to. When you are a ugly, unattractive, short, whatever it might be, if you don't have anything else to try to elevate your resume, you're not even gonna get through the door. Should males like that in the in the animal world be able to mate? No. At 38 years old, is this what you thought you'd be in life? No. Then what are you doing about it? Um, working out. No, you ain't um, working out your fat. That's true. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> See, this is why I have these conversations because a lot of this stuff gets lost in the sauce when women start talking about women and these red pills and all this other kind of stuff. This ain't got nothing to do with women. See, at five foot five, at five five, you should be you should be in shape for you. You have zero confidence, um, and you're a quitter. Um, you're underperforming and you lack ambition. You need to go and roll in martial arts or boxing somewhere and let somebody <laughs> knock the shit out of you. Because you don't know who you are. People really translate that as, oh, you need to get beat. Is that what you're wishing? Hinting? No, but there's something that you have to understand about mar martial arts and taking a punch that teaches you about life, about not quitting no matter what happened. No matter about how you get rocked, you get back on. That's what he meant.
It's about adversity. You live a dull life and you lack ambition. You know, one thing that was good about martial arts is like if you're a beginner, you go in there and you spar or you do whatever you train, you get humbled all the time. You're getting constantly submitted. You're constantly getting knocked on the floor. Like a safety, you're constantly learning a new techniques. So it's good. It's good for building character. And I think that's what he's saying about this. Yeah, but it's funny the way. The point of the way he says is the delivery is funny. Uh, I kind of disagree with some of the things you're saying. Uh, uh, okay. How old are you? 20. Okay. Why does your opinion matter? Uh, everyone's opinion is valid. No, it doesn't. No, that doesn't. 20 year old guy who's doesn't know shit. I was dying. <laughs> I was dying. He's right. It's, you know, when you're 19 and you got these super strong opinions, it's like, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But the also, experience is back it up. Exactly. You know, and it then, was just funny the way he said it. it and I played this whole thing to, to one, show you two things. One, that men do need a lot of this counseling and this kind of guidance. And two, that there isn't an uneven idea. If you come to ask a man for advice and he talks to you the same way he talks to men, if he talks to you ladies, he doesn't mean he hates you guys. You guys are so used to men talking to you with cushions a certain level of like tone policing that you assume direct honesty and bluntness is somehow an attack on you no this is how we talk to each other oftentimes it's not for everyone but if you come to ask for advice that's what you're going to get the military and basic training and all these things it's not for everyone which is why they don't come in your bedroom and tell you to get up and do push-ups or run at five in the morning or to log stuff around or to make sure that you're ready for inspection they don't come to your place you go to them how does it make sense for you to go to them and be like you're mean this is unnecessary why would you go man? C'est vraiment ça qui se passe. Go ahead. I got a story. Go ahead. Story time with Preach. You're probably going to see that one in the Patreon. So subscribe. Yo. I think what it really just comes down to is uh, rather than reacting to these short clips and then trying to come to an understanding of who someone is, accept the idea that, yo, maybe you don't know. Maybe these things are taken out of context. You just seeing a bunch of clips of him talking to women, maybe it's because that's just what seems to be the most polarizing. That's what people gravitate to. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean that he doesn't talk to men. Doesn't mean that he's not coaching men. He's not telling them what to do. You just haven't done the research to know. So when you say he hates women, based off of what? Limited information, clips that were taken off of his two hour live stream and you watched a two minute clip. So just be mindful of that. If you are gonna look at this clip and tell me he's not being as savage to these men as he is to the ladies, I would question that. So. That's what I'm making this video for. Like I said, man, I think a lot of us could use some blunt honesty. But if you ain't ready for it, <laughs> don't, ask, don't for ask for it. Some of y'all are asking for you're not ready for it and then crying victim afterwards. No. So that's all I'm going to say. Anything else you want to add? No. All right. Tell us what you guys think in the comments below.